Okay, oh, hey guys, this is Barge Journey. I did not know I was on. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I gave you the thumbs up. I okay, was like, can you not? Okay, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I see. Somebody muted me. Okay, so. Not better? I don't know what happened, but it looks like. Uh, oh, yeah. Brett yeah. Much Little back. Uh, Little back. Let's take a look. Okay, forward smash on shield. Down tilt. Yep. Yeah. It was a little my classic. The, you can't run towards me because you're too slow. And you didn't perfect shield this, so it's time to you die. Got smash. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is also the Kirby classic. Oh my god. Like the way he the way he's just walking forward and back flush back. Oh yeah, he died. Oh was you dummy! Back. Why would you <laughs> oh, yeah. and He had so much time! And the thing is, even after even after he got back to ledge, he still could have been something. I feel like I I feel like his face was just like I don't know what the hell. Yeah, that was definitely a mess-up, but that was definitely he, he definitely just tried to forward air back to ledge and uh, just miss him, but you know it's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I mean, Gretsch takes that game one as he's bobbing his head. Yeah, man. Um, we have Kaizen, I guess, just contemplating kind of thing. Gretsch banned Smashville for obvious reasons. Little Max hates Smashville because you can just uh, sit on the Smashville platform and just make it terrible. Remember when Little Mac mains and everyone was like, yo, Battlefield's a bad stage for Little Mac because he can't catch you when you're on the platforms. You can just circle camp him. Man. And then people were like, wow, Uppy's kind of really strong yeah. and just kind of vortexes you into the blast zone. Man, as the, <laughs> as the meta advances. <laughs> as, as the meta advances. And then people were like, wow, that platform is, uh, that's really far out there, huh, guys? Remember, remember when, remember when uh, people Go! thought Platinum release was mid-tier? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Day one, he Dude, has, he's, he's, he's got good hitboxes, but you can just kill him by throwing him off the stage. What's the no problem? Yeah, right. You can't kill off a throw until like 160. Well, I mean, okay, well, speaking of grab combos, Kirby definitely does have a of grab combos. And on Town and City, he could kill you uh, with up throw earlier than, you know, in the middle of the stage earlier than he would on the stage. So, uh, <laughs> what he will. He will kill you with up throw in the middle of the stage. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. oh my god. That side view was pretty sus. Kaizen Epi really fought that guy. <laughs> now, I know what he did. He tried to super arm, he tried to super arm out of that combo, and that didn't work out for him. Not enough knockback to knock out that KO punch, and he just forward tilted. That was a great reaction, and the walk away forward smash the Kirby classic. He died, and he didn't need to do that. He was going to snap the ledge. I mean, he, he could have he he done anything. You could down air. Yeah. Even air. You could have aired again. You know, it's a safe thing. But, like, you know, I guess you just didn't expect him to go in that direction. But either way, he's still, still at the stop. Uh, 50%, on, only 50% on him. So, you know, strong leap for Kaiser. It just seems like he's um, taking a slower approach to this matchup. Because from the stock that I did see, it seemed like he just kind of walked into a little Mac. And now he's just, he's just walking 
staying in the air a little bit more, waiting for Rex to press the button first, and it's kind of working out for him. And it's like, it seems like Gretsch is just kind of just going at him and just pressing buttons until Kai's you know, defense tends to waver. And he tried to read that jump with the up the air respect. Ooh, okay. Hey, you know, that side beat might have killed Kirby if he was rolling back towards the web, so I, I also respect that option. You have to go for things like that, especially when you're at the deficit. Okay, no jab combo. Kirby at 117%. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you almost died twice! Good, I mean, good stuff by Kaizen for not dying. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Kai, uh, Kirby's too light for that. I guess for some. Okay, he's trying to. He's just trying to bait. So, back it above smash. You serious? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, now he knows. Okay, now it seems like Gretch is taking it a lot slower. Gretch. <laughs> Yo, Jesus Christ, dude. My God. He's just fishing. Yeah, it's you know I was just about to say he was taking it slow by walking towards him, and then he goes. <laughs> kind of Kirby grab up. should kill at this point. Uh, middle of the stage, yes. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing, yeah, thing about that back air is it's not, um, it's actually not safe, um, and it, has, it does have a little bit of landing lag, especially if a little Mac is closing in on you like that. You know, fadeaway back air with a little max speed probably isn't the best. But you know, he has a he has a big lead, so he could have he could afford to take that stop. Okay, just down throw because he knows he can't get anything else. He's good damage. Okay. Yeah, he's Gretsch shielding at ledge and Robon back throw, and that should not have killed. He was DI'ing away. But, um, I don't know, what, he, what was he DI'ing away for? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly have no idea because, uh... He's facing the other way. Up throw might have killed. Actually, though, he didn't have any range and the platform wasn't there, so never mind. Yeah, I'm guessing he was just DI... Now, that doesn't make sense either. I mean, he might have been DI'ing towards the stage. Yeah, but, but like, if he's DI'ing towards the stage, that would have saved him. Probably. I don't know, dude. I don't know what happened. Hey, good stuff by Kaizen. You know, he pretty much did the same thing back to him. He only had 10% on on him. Let's see the instant replay. Yeah, he did roll, he did roll behind. Uh, yeah, roll behind back throw. I mean, I don't Looking know. like 2-Link out here. I don't know what he could have been behind for. But, um, I mean, good stuff by Kaizen. Um, you know, strong comeback after that, you know, the game one loss. Not sure. Okay. So I mean, did Kaizen ban Smashville, or is that just there? You know, Kaizen ban Smashville. Why? One, that's a real good question. <laughs> but that's a good, that's actually a great question. Good question, bars. <laughs> but, <you laughs> I just realized how weird that is. Yeah, you're right. I, I think mean, Kirby just hates Smashville. But. Mac is not gonna, okay. I think but Kirby just implicitly hates Smashville because every character that they fight there circle camps them on them. Because Kirby has poopy air speed and movement speed. But what? Yo, but like Kaizen doesn't care though. Yeah, but I'm about to say, what Kirby does have, he does have some combo strings like this. Especially on the stage like FD, you cannot get away from Kirby and his combos. Even though he is slow, and he got forward smash again. And these four, you know, I, I really like that forward smash because he was at a really low percent. Even if he missed, he had nothing to lose. That was all, that was all reward, no risk, really. Kaizen is going in. Yeah, I mean, right now, Kaizen's like, really, he's mixing right now, man. Looking like Mixed Master Fletcher right now. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> he's just powering out to the back. Yeah, like, Gretsch keeps going for like these like super strong reads on a character that doesn't have any incentive. To just air dodge into the ground. Yeah, none at all. And like, he's like, he's just so floaty, and it's like, it's hard for him to catch his jump anyway. So it's not, there's literally no reason for Kirby to air dodge into the ground. Oh, and yo, <laughs> he down tilted his dash attack. So I'm calling it now. If Gretsch kills Kaizen, then he's gonna win the match. Oh, um, I'm not sure about that. The way Kaizen's playing right now, he's, he's playing very. He's very aware of the KO punch. You know, and you know what's strange? Once Gretsch gets KO punch, he slows down his gameplay so much. It's almost like he should be playing like that the whole set. And it's only like that when I guess when he, has, he has the comfort of his kill confirm. He has a kill confirm that he doesn't want to use under any circumstances because he knows that if he does, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I don't, okay, yeah. Okay, he's walking. Okay. I lo I'm loving the patience from Kaizen, and he kind of just walked to that forward tilt. 
Um, you know, but still a big lead for Kaizen. Still doing a great job right now. Only has 9% on him, little Mac at 111. Ooh, oh, and that, that wind box. Wind box just pushed his foot away. Like, what are you doing, sir? Okay, that back to back to the down tilt hit there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just trying to get that down tilt to something. He just wants little Mac to fall on the floor. Just, oh my god. Oh, that actually would have killed him, too. Oh my god. Okay, what? Kirby grab will kill at this point. Yeah, but this, I thought that was going to be a grab out of shield. I guess he just, like, even just timed it. Oh, oh yeah. dummy. No. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, he didn't need to do that, too. And he had KO punch. Like, he really actually didn't need to go for that read. Kirby. He's literally, he was literally one hit away from KO, um, KO punch. He was. I mean, he didn't. I don't think he was that. Oh, dude. Yeah, like, that was that read was. Yeah, that was a, that was a bad read. Yeah. That was not a good one. I mean, good stuff by Kaizen. You know, remaining patient throughout that whole set, because there, def there was definitely a lot of times where adversity could have hit him, and he could have crumbled under the pressure, but he didn't. So I mean, good stuff by Kaizen. Um, yeah, you know, as we're you know waiting for this next match, uh, you know, this is you know weeklies, uh, every Wednesday, um, House 2000, 62nd Orr Street in New York City. Come through. Also, follow us on Twitch TV slash House 3000. House 3000 on Twitter. You know, great venue, great place, good times. This weekend. <laughs> this weekend. Like the Olive Garden. Hey. When you're here, you're family, guys. <laughs> hey, we're all family here. This weekend, overclock floor. Oh, overclock four in Boston, <laughs> Massachusetts. Do not, do not at me about that. It is uh, 